So because of those orders are going to be so large for these, these team and spirit wear clients, what are some ways that um, decorators and shops can stay efficient and stay on top of those order sizes? It's a good question because um, they do sometimes, in, in this, as the seasons approach, especially the fall season where everybody's coming back to school and you have a lot of fall sports, um, they do come upon you pretty quick. I think the key is, again, is, um, is being prepared. Uh, one of the, I think the biggest things you can do is actually f have paperwork that uh, is easy to fill out for, for the organizations, for the schools who are ordering the spirit wear, meaning a good size scale. Um, we, if you're doing numbers, that you have a good way to do it, but make sure that it converts to your system. Uh, if that's on the computer side or however you put in your orders, so that it's an easy conversion, so that you don't have a lot of uh, opportunities to make mistakes, maybe mix up names, sizes, numbers. Um, so the more prepared that you can be and make it, make it more user friendly for your organizations, your schools or your teams or coaches, I mean, they don't understand the whole ordering process, so it's something as simple as just showing them that you order in small, medium, extra large in that sequence versus them starting with 2x and just mixing it around. Those little things can cause errors. Sure. Um, I think an, uh, one other thing that is um, really big is when you have product that you're going to show um, to customers or, or on pre cycled items, don't make it brand specific, make it style specific, meaning that it, for some reason if you had a a green shirt that was a certain style spec or whatever it was that you could switch brands so if there was an issue with inventory or something like that that you give yourself an escape so that you have a way to fix that instead of just giving one brand so that you're kind of stuck with that.